Well, cutting the expenses is necessary. There's a limit to how much you can save. However, there is no limit to how much you can earn, which is why step one, which I believe is the most important, is increasing your income and having multiple income streams. Achieving your first $100,000 in net worth is a daunting challenge, but once you've reached it, your next $100,000, $200,000, or even $1 million becomes much easier to achieve. In this video, I'll explore why the first $100,000 is the hardest to earn, why wealth accumulation accelerates after that point, and stick around until the end where I will provide five practical steps to help you reach your first $100,000. Starting with the challenges, why is it so hard to get your first 100,000? Well, you have limited earning power. Early in your career, your income potential is generally lower due to less experience and fewer skills. Another challenge is high living costs and inflation. Today's economic environment characterized by high living costs, rising rent, healthcare, and education costs mean a larger portion of your income goes towards basic necessities. The next challenge is the lack of compound interest. Without a substantial initial investment, the benefits of compound interest are minimal. Smaller investment amounts yield less significant returns, making the early stages of wealth accumulation slow and painful. The last challenge is instant gratification culture. Many people, especially younger generations, are prone to spending on immediate desires rather than saving for long-term goals. Once you surpass the $100,000 mark, your wealth can grow exponentially due to the principle of compound interest. Here's why it gets easier. First, you have increased investment returns. As your capital grows, the dollar returns from investments increase. For example, a 7% return on $100,000 is $7,000, whereas the same percentage on $10,000 is only $700. This higher return further fuels your investment growth. Next, we have lower relative expenses. As your wealth increases, Fixed expenses, such as rent or mortgage payments, consume a smaller percentage of your income, leaving more money available for savings and investments. For example, if you have $100,000 saved, $1,000 monthly rent is only 1% of your net worth, compared to 10% if you only have $10,000 saved. Next, we have financial confidence and opportunities. Having a substantial amount saved provides financial security, enabling you to take calculated risks with new investments or career opportunities that could significantly boost your income. This could include investing in higher risk, higher reward assets, starting a business, or switching to a higher paying job. All right, now we're gonna get into the specific steps you can take to earn your first $100,000. But before we do, please take a second to like and subscribe. I appreciate the support. All right, as promised, here are the five steps to your first $100,000. But just a quick note, while cutting expenses is necessary, there's a limit to how much you can save. However, there is no limit to how much you can earn, which is why step one, which I believe is the most important, is increasing your income and having multiple income streams. So how do you do this? Well, I'll get to some very specific examples in a second, but generally you take on side hustles, do freelance work, or seek higher paying job opportunities to boost your income. Investing in high income skills can also be beneficial. Look for opportunities to monetize your hobbies or skills. Here are six additional ways that most people can do to increase your income. You can do ride share driving or deliver food. You drive for companies like Uber or Lyft to provide transportation services. This is great because you have flexible hours and potential for high earnings during peak times. Number two is tutoring or teaching online. This is great because you teach subjects in Excel or provide tutoring services to students online. There's a huge demand for educational support, especially in subjects like math, sciences, and languages. To get started, sign up on platforms like VIP Kid, Check Tutors, or Wiseant and start offering your services. Next, we have pet sitting and dog walking. This is great for people who love animals. You take care of their pets while owners are away or provide regular dog walking services. This is great. There's actually a growing demand for pet care services, especially in urban areas. To get started, create profiles on sites like Rover or WAG and start advertising your services locally. And next, we have e-commerce and drop shipping. What you do is you sell products online through your own e-commerce store or platforms like eBay and Amazon. This has a potential for passive income once the store is set up and running. Choose a niche and set up an online store using Shopify, WooCommerce, and start marketing your products. Freelance writing. Write articles, blog posts, copywriting, and other content for businesses and websites. This is great because it's a flexible schedule. You can work from anywhere and has a high demand for content. To get started, create a portfolio of writing samples, join freelance platforms like Upwork or Fiverr and pitch to potential clients. And last, which is a favorite of mine, is start your own YouTube channel. Create video content on topics you're passionate about and grow an audience. This is great because it has potential for multiple income streams, including ad revenue from the YouTube Partner Program. You can get into affiliate marketing, sponsorship, and merchandise sales. 
to get started, you just need to choose a niche, create and upload consistent content and engage with your audience. It gets easier the more you do it. This requires a lot of time and effort, but with persistence, it can become a highly profitable business. All right, that completes number one for ways to get your first $100,000. It was a very long section because I think it's the most important. Let's move on to number two, which is gain control of your finances. Budgeting is crucial. Understand your income, track your expenses, and differentiate between needs and wants. Use an Excel spreadsheet or budgeting apps like Credit Karma or You Need a Budget to keep track of your spending and set savings goals. Make sure you create a realistic budget that includes regular savings and investment contributions. Number three is to invest regularly. Regularly investing in low cost index funds, for example, investing $250 monthly into the S&P 500 index fund can grow significantly over time. Make sure you set up automatic transfers to your investment accounts to ensure you consistently contribute. Even small regular investments can grow substantially over time thanks to compound interest. Next, make sure you're optimizing your taxes. Utilize tax advantage accounts like Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs, and 401k plans to reduce taxable income and maximize savings. Make sure you maximize contributions to your employee-sponsored retirement plans, especially if there's a company match. This is essentially free money that can significantly boost your retirement savings. And last is to eliminate debts. Prioritize paying off high interest debts to avoid negative compound interest, which can erode your savings potential. The best way to do this is to use the debt avalanche method, which is to pay off debts with the highest interest rate first. This strategy will save you the most money on interest payments over time. By focusing on increasing your income and following these steps, you can overcome the initial hurdles and eventually build up your first $100,000. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you're not sure what to watch next, check out this video right here. YouTube is recommending. I think you'll really enjoy it. Take care and I'll see you next time.